Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you here from Blade Show 2022. We're down in Atlanta. I'm here with Don from Carnivora Knives. Don, what's happening, man? Uh, well, I'm here helping out Josh and just hanging, Josh Navarrete, and just hanging out with everybody. I'm finally getting to meet you in person. Yeah, this is really here. awesome. Um, I've been a long time fan of your series, and so this is kind of a dream come true for me. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, I've got my original saber tooth. This is the stock, everything, how it comes out. We actually just uh, hammered out, after all the feedback we've gotten back, um, a V2. And so in V2, we're cutting off this piece right here. We're bumping it down to the bottom. We're gonna be actually moving this part right here. So all of this uh, Brute de Forge, which we call Dragon Scale at Carnivore, we're pulling it down, slightly rounding this tip here. And then we're gonna pull the Dragon Forge actually out to about, I'd say four millimeters to guarantee that you don't get bit. And then we're removing this piece up here and we're actually adding some, to be able to do some weight reduction on it. Um, make it just as beefy as it is, but a little bit more agile and easier to use. So the inspiration for this is an Ulu, believe it or not. And I wanted a processing monster, something that can handle anything and everything when you're out in the bush. Um, but I also have a lot of friends who are in the barbecue industry and they wanted something that they can go hog on with brisket. Yeah, yeah. brisket or a flat out hog, quite literally. Um, this is actually in the hands of uh, the head pitmaster for Killian's Barbecue over in Houston. Uh, his name is Teddy Lopez. If you wanna go check it out, you can. Um, my brother also helped me develop this and he's a chef up in Denver. And we actually have a kitchen line coming out together as well. So I'm actually giving this to Eric so that he can play with it since it is literally going to be the last of the V1s. Whew. Thanks man. Well, so first and foremost, thank you very much. Absolutely. I appreciate this. I'm looking forward to getting this out into the field. It's going to be fun for me because it's a departure from what I've done in the past. Oh, yeah. So it's going to make me think creatively. I'm going to have to think outside the box and it's going to bring some different skills to the table. So that's the first thing. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. But I do want to talk about two things. First off, Carnivora as a brand. Okay. So your design and, and what it is from a philosophy. And then also let's get into who is actually manufacturing this, which is Shade Indonesia. Absolutely. So for us, I come from video games. I spent 10 years doing art for all kinds of different games. I specialize in fantasy and a little bit of sci-fi. So our goal is actually to make things as fantastical as possible while also being as functional as possible. And today, I, just for this, I brought you an actual just shade only knife. This is made, manufactured, and concepted by Shawnee over at Shade Indonesia. And so he's got a Kratos that's based off of the Chaos Blade from the God of War series. He's a big fan of games just like I am. Well, the customers decided they wanted a smaller one, so it got to about that big. Then the customers wanted an even smaller one, so we gave you the baby Kratos. And this thing is a monster EDC. I love it. And um, actually, he gave it to my mom. <laughs> and she fell in love with it, but since she's not here, I'm here. Um, but Carnivore just comes down to two things. One, it's a sandbox. If you're a designer and you want to push the limits of what design means as far as the aesthetics goes and finding a way to make really interesting and fantastical stuff functional that's what carnivore is about we are collaborative as heck we want to be able to work with everybody and anybody as much as possible because there's a lot of people who don't get to do production runs simply because they don't have production run cost efficient stuff um, ideas really and that's where i come in there's only going to ever be 33 of these saber tooths no matter what version we're at one two or three um, each one that we do batches of 10, um, technically the second or third one will be 13, but each one that we do, uh, there's, it's af after 33, it's gone permanently. But one thing that we are doing now is we're working with Work Tough Gear so that anything that we feel is commercially viable on a larger scale production, 
we're sending over to Vic and he gets to cherry pick what he decides that he wants to bring to market. So I've, I've tried to find a way to make a vehicle for a lot of lesser known knife makers and designers to push their limits, find a really cool design, and then see if they can't segue it into a larger production scale. We're also working with the folks over at Triple Lot Design, TAD, and quite a few other outfits to try and get these knives placed. Because quite frankly, I love fantasy. Um, I've made fantasy video games my whole life. I grew up on them. You know, my first game I played at four years old and I'm 34 now. So that's 30 years of fantasy that I love. And my goal is to make fantasy functional. As far as shade goes, Shawnee is awesome because he's one of the heads of the Indonesian Knife Makers Guild. That's something that's special because it means that he has carte blanche on the best knife makers in the entirety of Indonesia. From a design point of view, from a heat treat point of view, from a manufacturing point of view, from all of his scale making, everything. They are the absolute best. And so I can guarantee that if I have a QC problem, I go to him and I tell him, and it's fixed by the next one, 100%, and it will always be fixed. So if you want the actual best people to manufacture your stuff in Indonesia, you go through Shani. And we're always welcoming new people into the fold for Shade Nation. It's really incredible. It's a, it's a very unique and um, it's an admirable story. I mean, you're putting a lot out there. You're working really hard. I see how hard you're pushing. I mean, you are literally every day, many posts a day, you know, social media across mm -hmm. the board. So, uh, man, uh, at this point, I think we got to get this out into the field, do some testing. and I uh, need your feedback on that so wait. that I can incorporate it into B2. I've got a preliminary. In fact, let me pull it up. I'll show it to you. And what's really cool is this fantastic new phone allows me to actually show you guys a much wider screen. So what, oh, as you wow. can see, what we've done is we moved that piece down here. So now you've got that crusher. Can and I then, flip this around? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, nice. show the world. Y'all are getting exclusive access right now. I have not shown anyone except for Josh Nebarete because he was the one who helped me figure out how to incorporate these changes yesterday actually so I went back to the Airbnb adjusted everything and that's what V2 is gonna look like so far um, once I get your feedback I'll incorporate that in I'll shoot it over let you know you know you can give me any feedback on the actual design itself nice and once that's done I will get a V2 version to you to test that nice and a uh, quick little shout out to to a choir boy right because he's doing some testing of this okay so Scott Baldwin, if you're listening, thank you so much for being the very first person to get to test one of these. You made my day. And I, I do want to give you a shout out there. Now I finally get to put it in the hands of another awesome... You're not a reviewer though, are you? You are a tester. I, anything. You I need... don't like to be known as a reviewer. I don't want to just be a reviewer. I like to do more than that. So I like to design. I like to, exactly, to test exactly. and learn and grow. Um, I like to be active. So. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's what I appreciate. All the people that I want to put knives in the hands of, um, as far as, like, uh, reviewers go, is their people are actually going to be using this stuff. They're not just there to, like, chill it or be, hey, this is great. Buy it. Okay, cool. No. I want to know if I've messed up. I need to know if we've got problems, and I need to trust that the people I'm giving it to, like you, Eric, are going to give me that un filtered, unbiased, honest, objective right. feedback. It's important. So, absolutely. I can't get better. None of us can get better if I have just a yes man reviewer reviewing this stuff. So I really appreciate you, Scott, and I appreciate you, Eric, for Thank pulling you. this because I know I'm going to get solid feedback. Well done. Enjoy. Enjoy. Man. Hey, this is just the start. It is just the start. Good stuff. Um, one quick note, I will be at Blade West. Uh, actually, my whole family will be at Blade West other than my dad. Um, I will also, I'm aiming to get a table for Blade Dallas as our first time exhibiting. So, all your purchases go towards that. Alright, so Don, as we said, great to see you buddy. Thank Good you very you. much. It's nice to meet you in person. You as well. And uh, again, just the very beginning. Absolutely, man. 